Okay. What just happened? That's so weird. All right. Welcome to Movie Show Time. The reason I'm doing this ugly voiceover is because we're getting a lot of copyright claims and more importantly, we got two copyright strikes on our channel. If we get one more, boom, we're banned from YouTube. So we decided to do videos from channels like Watch Mojo and Mez Mojo. I know my voiceover is not as professional as theirs, but we could do it someday. All right, without further delay, let's get into the video. The first week of beautiful October, we are counting down the best romance and rom-com movies of 2020. Due to this pandemic, there are more movies came out this year, but we got some good ones. So, why don't we take a look at them, right? Number 10 on our list is Rico's de Amor. It is a Brazilian-based movie where Tedo is a rich kid who has everything. One day, he meets a girl named Paula on his tomato party and he falls for her the same night instantly. But he doesn't want to tell her that he's super rich, so he tells her that he's broke. This single lie makes him lie to her so many times but love solves everything at the end. And this movie is in Portuguese, so watch it with English subtitles unless you know Portuguese. Number 9 on our list is The Love Bats. Hey man, it's been a minute. <laughs> On the edge of breaking up, a couple gets unintentionally involved in a bizarre murder mystery. As they get closer to cleaning their names and solving the case, they need to figure out how they and their relationship can survive the night. The comedy scenes from the movie are really unbeatable like Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston from Murder Mystery. Man, it's a little quiet in here. Do you mind turning on some music or something? Yeah. Thank you. On number 8, we have Izzy and O.C. This is gonna be a challenge. Izzy is a billionaire's daughter who wants to pursue her dreams to be a chef at NYC. But of course, her parents don't really like her plan. Because obviously, they're billionaires. So she met a guy named O.C. who's a boxer and have a single mom and a very cool grandpa. Izzy wants O.C. to act like they're dating in front of her parents. O.C. did it for some money in return for boxing. What they both didn't plan is falling in love. post -grad, it's in German, so you might want to probably watch it with English voiceover or subtitles. Unless you know German. How did you do that? <laughs> We're good. Number 7 on our list is Palm Springs. Cheers. Wait, what? Well, here in this tricky rom-com, two wedding guests trapped in a time loop where they have to live the same day over and over again. Since they are spending the same day every day, they actually start to care for each other even though they hate each other at first, which led them actually falling for each other at the end. Don't forget to laugh during the whole movie, it's actually so hilarious. What kind of dog is he? He's one of them shaggy dogs. He's one of them shaggy dogs! <laughs> On number 6, we have Chemical Hearts. A 17-year-old Henry Page has never been in love. He fancies himself romantic and wants a once-in-a-lifetime love, but it didn't just happen just yet. The no. I know. I've known since like the very beginning that I love you. Then on the first day of senior year, he meets Grace Town and it seems all that is about to change. When Grace and Henry are chosen to co-edit the school paper, he's immediately drawn to the mysterious newcomer. As he learns a heartbreaking secret that has changed her life, he finds himself falling in love with her. You are an extraordinary collection of atoms, Henry Page. Number 5 on our list is to all the boys, P.S. I still love you. Love Hi. Were you with Jen today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Laura Jean and Peter are officially together after the first part of To All The Boys series. When John Ambrose from her old love letter class shows up, things start to mess up between Peter and Laura. Laura Jean is confused between Peter and John, but in the end, finally she'll figure out who she really loves. Is it Peter or John Ambrose? It's Peter. On number 4, we have The Kissing Booth to in part 2, Noah and Ellie spend a whole summer together. After summer is over, Noah is off to Harvard and Ellie starts her senior year in high school. As you all know, the long relationship actually sucks. 
like he amazes each other and Ellie doubts Noah and Marco shows up and Ellie kisses Marco in a dance stage and everything changes but in the end they figure out whom they should be with and don't forget about Lee he has a super cool also here too it's you Noah it's always been you on number 3 we have the half of it Hi. Hi. Ellie Chu, a shy girl who writes essays for money at school, and one day she agrees to write a letter about love for a guy in school. She writes a letter about Astor. Ellie Chu finds out that she and Astor have more in common. Then after that, things get complicated as she falls for Astor. Love is. Love is messy. Number 2 on our list is all the bright places. Theodore Finch and Violet Murphy have their own problems and when they meet each other there is an instant chemistry between them. When Finch convinces her to take her to more places, he falls in love with her, which led Violet to tears and make sure you have some tissues for the ending. People don't like messy. We're different. At the top of our list, we have I still believe that whatever this is and wherever it takes us, that I'm with you. This one is a real life story of a Christian music star, Jeremy Cam. He found himself falling for a girl in music school, and everything's fine for a while. And suddenly, Melissa got sick, but Jeremy has a hope that she'll be okay again, and she did somehow, and they got married together afterwards. Everything's fine for six months. and after that something terrible happens again life actually sucks but jemmy never lost hope <laughs> and that's it for today guys and if you guys like this video share it with your friends so that they can also watch these movies if you don't like my voice then comment down below then i'll try to change my voice or i'll ask my girlfriend to do a voice over for you guys take care guys peace